hi welcome to driving tv and i hope you are well not on our last video but a video before that we talked about how to impress your driving instructor and one of the things we talked about on the video is that if you make a mistake it doesn't mean you fail as long as so soon as you make a mistake what the examiner is looking for is to see what action you take to correct the mistake this is what the examiner is looking for so it's your job to make sure that you find the right action for you to correct the mistake so on practice as we drive i'm going to show you some examples so that you understand if you make a mistake in the driving test it doesn't mean you fail your driving test let's start the lesson so the video before last we talked about how to impress your driving instructor and what we talked about is the way you impress the driving instructor is to do your part which is to drive because there's no other way because if you think there is a way there is something that you can do to impress the examiner there's no way except for you to drive the way the examiner is looking for as long as you drive safely the examiner will give you the license So your job is to drive and drive safely. If you do, you will pass your driving test, okay? So, so when you are driving, you need to drive safely. And as you are driving, you might make a mistake. What does that mean? Is that mean you failed? No, it doesn't. As long as you take the right action to correct the mistake, you will be fine, okay? straight across I'm gonna go right here mirror mirror signal right close junction I can't see anything so I'm gonna go to my side and I'm gonna so say the examiner said for you to do a parallel parking okay so I'm gonna use this black car for parallel parking okay there's a car coming so I'm gonna stop here and use this car for parallel parking okay so i put the hammer on go to reverse gear look around make sure there's no one there okay and i'll look at the back and i go back okay so i'm going back i'm looking all around there's a car coming and i go in and and i'm going in and now i'm looking at the mirror and I see it's a bit far from the curve. So what do I do? That's the, mis the mistake I've made here is I'm too far from the pavement. Is that mean I fell? No, so what do I do? I'm gonna take the right action for me to correct. So what's the right action? Put the handbrake on, go to first gear. Look around, look at the blind spot. There's no one coming. I'm gonna go a step back, which is around here. Not all the way back, to where I started because I'm not doing the parking again I'm just correcting so what did I do I went forward and I'm gonna get the wheel straight okay now what I'm doing is going back to the pavement again so handbrake on reverse gear look around again look at the back and I'm going back okay I'm going back and I'm looking at the mirror I'm going back and I'm looking at the mirror I'm looking around I'm looking at the mirror okay and now I'm steering looking around looking at the mirror Am I going to be perfect? Looking all around, make sure the car is straight. Is it straight? It's straight now. Get the wheel straight. Looking all around, look at the back, and I stop. I'm back on, neutral, rest my feet. Okay, so what did I do? The examiner asked me to do a parallel parking, and as I am about to do the parallel parking, I couldn't do it properly. Maybe I was too far from the pavement, or maybe I am about to hit the pavement. So what does that mean? I'm going to stop, put the handbrake on, go to neutral. Go to first gear, look around, look at the blind so make sure it's all safe. Go forward a step back. Don't go all the way at the beginning because you're not doing the parking again. You are just correcting, meaning just go a step back and then come and finish the parking. And that's how you correct, okay? So the point I'm trying to make here in this video is that if you make a mistake, it doesn't mean you fail. All it means is for you to find the right action for you to correct. Obviously, if you go through red light, if you speed for too long, 
these are illegal for you to do you will fail your test for that but there are many mistakes many learners they do they think it's an automatic fail it's not so what i say to you for you to for you to know which one is fail which one is pass you don't know do you you don't know which one is actually pass which one is fail. it's not your job best thing to do whatever you do in the test if you get it wrong if you think it's wrong what do you do you correct find the right solution find the answer look for the action you need to take to correct and i would correct if i were you if you correct you will pass your driving test no problem many learners they do something which they're not happy with or they made a mistake instead of correcting finding the answer they give up in their mind okay in their mind they think that well i'm gonna fail for that and because of that even if they correct it they probably won't correct it properly because their mind is not stable they don't think that this is okay for me to do they think that this is not okay remember when you make a mistake that's fine then the examiner is looking what do you actually do so then the examiner is looking for the answer what are you doing if you could find the solution if you could find the answer to correct that is perfect the, that's what the examiner is looking for can you correct we all make mistake everyone makes mistake even the examiner when they drive they make mistake the difference is can you correct if you correct it you will pass your driving test many learners like i said i keep repeating they give up because they done something which they're not happy with and they give up and that's it the test is gone and by the end they realize they didn't fail for that they fell for something after but by then they've already gave up and because they gave up they collected those mistakes and they failed the driving test so don't give up whatever happens okay also if you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test don't forget to take the advantage of our online course the course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test it has everything a learner needs i will leave a link on the description for you to have a look have a look and see and read and if you like it you could always join the course driving is all about believing you can and make sure you just drive the car safely that's what the examiner is looking for okay there's nothing more the examiner is looking for than you to drive safely all that time you've been driving with the driving instructor you've been driving with your family members you've been practicing and now that you are in a test it means you can't drive the car that's what it means if you weren't ready for the test you wouldn't go to the test so we know you're ready for the test and now you are doing the test and you made a mistake or you're not happy with that's fine what do you do you just pull yourself up find the solution for the problem and give the answer to the examiner what they're looking for which is to find the right action for you to correct that okay believe me if you believe that you can half of your test is done because you believe you can that's going to give you that boost it's going to give you that motivation and that will help you to pass the test this is the dual carriageway driving on the left lane how many lanes are there there are three lanes which lane do we drive on we drive on the left lane why because that's the normal driving lane so what's the other lanes for the other lanes are for to overtake or turning right okay so if you're going right somewhere you would be going to the right lane or the car in front is not doing the road speed they're going too slow what do you do then you change the lane to the middle overtake the car in front and they come back to your lane again here i'm the road is 40 and I'm driving 40 dead on keeping the distance from the car in front which is two seconds away from the car in front can you see the car in front braking so I'm going to brake keeping the distance from the car in front okay so if they brake suddenly I have the space to control the car and to stop the car hitting that car in front okay there's a camera over there many drivers i see as they're driving in this road they drive fast before the camera and as soon as they see the camera they slow down you shouldn't be doing that 
speed is 40, you should be driving 40. Speed is 30, you should be doing for 30. You shouldn't be breaking the law. Just because the camera is there, you shouldn't slow the car. You should drive the road speed anyway. Okay? Remember, your life is at risk and you are putting other lives at risk if you are speeding. Okay? If something happens, you have to live with that for the rest of your life. So make sure you don't break the rule, break the law of the speed. Now here I'm driving in the middle lane because left lane is going left only and I'm not going left, I'm going straight. Okay, mirror, brake, okay, and I'm going to stop behind the van around here. I'm going to neutral, rest my feet. I'm going to keep a little bit more than normal because it's a van and as you can see the van doesn't have a top mirror. They don't have a top mirror which means leaving a little bit more than normal would be better because the van needs to see you on the side mirrors. They don't have a top mirror. So keep a little bit more than normal if it's a van so they could see on their side mirror, especially if you're driving a small car because your smaller car, they can't see your car on their side mirrors. So be away a little bit more than normal so they could see you on their side mirrors, okay? If it's a normal car, then it's enough for you to go around, okay? So leave enough space between you and the car in front so that if they break down, you have the space to go around, okay? So I'm waiting here, neutral. Now I'm gonna get ready, totally changing. Look at the both blind, uh, both mirrors. Mirror, second gear. And the other thing is when you're driving, talk to yourself. Talk to yourself what you're doing. Read here, so what's happening here? I've got a car on my right, they're allowing me to go, okay. The left lane is closed, so I've recognized it. What did I do? Looked at the mirrors, put the signal on, change lane. There were a car, I had to wait until I got a gap or they let me go. They did, and what did I do? I changed. Here, I changed to the left lane because I'm going straight, I'm not going right and you always drive on the left lane to go straight. I couldn't go straight from that lane because they're not going straight, they're going right. That lane is only going right. This is a hill. It's gonna test me my clutch control. Handbrake on, neutral. So when you are on a traffic light and it's on a hill, make sure you prepare the car and your clutch control is good. Give enough gas, a little bit more than normal. Bring the clutch to the biting. Make sure you feel the bite and release it. So first gear, give gas more than normal, clutch to the biting. I could feel it, I could feel it. Good, take the handbrake off slower than normal. I'm gonna go right here. Okay, so when you are driving, like I said, the way you impress the examiner is to show the examiner you could drive safely, okay? So, drive safely and whatever happens, you don't give up, you do your best. If you make a mistake, you take the right action for you to do the, correct the mistake. And that's all you have to do, okay? Remember, there are three people involved in your journey of learning to drive, okay? There's your driving instructor who gave you everything you need to know. There's you who's gonna drive safely in the driving test. And then there's the examiner who's gonna do the judgment, okay? Make sure you don't cross. Your job is to drive. Your job is not to judge how you're driving. Your job is to drive safely from the best of your ability, the best you can do, from your best version of driving. That's what you do. This is your job, okay? And the reason I say that is because if you do something wrong and if you become the examiner, meaning you become the judge and think that, well, I failed and then you give up, well, that's not your job, is it? Your job isn't to be the examiner. Your job is to drive safely. You're the learner. You're here to show the examiner what you can do. Okay? So what what do you need to do? You need to show the examiner that you can drive safely. That's your job. Okay? 
whatever you do it is not your call it is not your job to think you failed or you passed your job is to drive and at the end the examiner will make a decision whether you pass or you fail okay whatever happens you'll accept at the end don't give up or don't make your mind up halfway or in the beginning or in the end how you drove so whatever happens it is not your job to make the call whether you pass or you fail okay you drive you do your best and drive safely and at the end the examiner will decide whether you pass or you fail okay so that's it for this video and i hope the video helps if it does please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now